Yes! Gentlemen, turn your hips facing the judges. 76. Damn. Turn your hips facing the judges, please. Face the rear. Yeah, 76. Face front, guys. Face the judges, please. So good. Turn to the rear, please. Face front, guys. Killing it, 76. Good job, guys. Thank you. Woo! You're left and file off. You have to have any sex? Yeah, you're left. Turn your hips facing the front. Turn your hips to the front, please. Hips. Cadera. Seventy-two and twenty-five. You switch. Woo! Face the rear, please. Come on, Kurt. Good. 76! Damn! Face front, please. 25 and 75 switch. 76 and 72 switch. Woo! Turn your hips to the front. Oh my god, please. Face the rear, please. Please stay there forever. 76. 76, looking awesome. Oh my god, you look amazing. Face front. I have my food in my hand. Can I hug you? I have a white you shirt can't on. Hug me at all. Can you oh, kiss me on? babe. Let me, let me get that pee. Babe. Babe. Come here. Um, hi, you were dead fucking center. How do you feel about that? Oh, shut the fuck up. You're annoying. Surprise. Surprise! So, Brian just competed in his first show. It's a national qualifier and he got dead motherfucking center. Prejudging. My man. So, um, how did this even fucking happen? Let's, let's give you some of that information. So, we were at posing last, this week. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> It is Saturday. Yeah. Um, so we were at posing on fucking Tuesday this week. And Rich, our posing um, coach, does the expediting for a lot of the shows in South Florida. He's like the one on stage bringing people out and everything. So he knows all the shows and all, everything. So he thinks that we're both like super ready and he's been trying to get us to do this show this weekend. Or actually, he's been trying to get us to do many shows. Oh, yeah, and uh, so he begs me, he tells me I can do it and I won't. Like no one's gonna tell me to do a different show. Like I'm prepping for the Grand Prix, that's what my coach and I are working towards and that's, I don't care how ready anyone thinks I am, I'm doing the Grand Prix. But Brian really was like, you know what, okay, I'll jump in. 
on Tuesday he decided this and the show is on Saturday so he emailed Paul and Paul was like okay you know that sounds good we're not he doesn't Paul didn't want to like peak him to his absolute best because the Grand Prix really is the show that we really want to do well at and this was this show is a, is a tinier show uh, smaller but Brian decided a couple literally a couple days ago that he was gonna do this show and uh, of course Brian is very humble and doesn't really think highly I guess of himself in a way I don't know I just know what's out there I guess sometimes I just always I try and always imagine that there's somewhere out there someone working harder than me so when I get there I'm humble and I don't already think I'm gonna win but don't be like that think you're the best um, and have that mindset instead because you just you gotta believe that and put it out to the universe and uh, Brian killed it he is always so worried about being too small but he was the biggest fucking guy up there um, and it really does come down to like when you're you're conditioning and that's what Paul our coach kept telling him like even if you think that your size met your total mass is smaller if you are more conditioned, more lean, more hard, more shredded, you will look bigger than a bigger guy because that bigger guy might just be soft and Brian was fucking peeled. Like his abs were the best up there. His shoulders, your shoulders looked amazing up there. I got such a good pump, you know, to be honest, all I had was a band and I didn't know what I was doing and I just did all basic movements and things worked out well. He looked amazing. So now we are headed home. Um, the show was about like 35 minutes from home and I wanted to stay for the bikini to watch the bikini pre-judging because I've never seen that before but like I wasn't even thinking and I just like walked out of the building. But we'll be doing that tonight because I plan on getting my critiques after my show tonight so Christine will be able to catch all the bikini stuff which is cool. Well I mean I've seen night shows for bikini pre-judging I've never seen before pre-judging is different. Oh okay. Yeah so I've never seen that before so I kind of wanted to see that so when I go in a month to do my show I like have already like seen it which I, I really I went back into one of the bathroom and I mentioned it to Brian and he didn't really say anything so I was like eh, we'll just go but it's okay um, I'll figure it out day of it'll be fine but we are headed back home I just ate my breakfast because I had no idea what today was gonna bring when I was gonna be able to eat, how long I was gonna be awake for. So I just like meal prepped a ton of food. I just ate my breakfast at 9.45ish, 9.30. So we're gonna go back home, chill for a little bit. I'm gonna hit the gym and then we are headed back to Fort Lauderdale for finals where Brian is gonna take first place and then hopefully um, overall. I'm, I'm gunning for that overall win, baby. Me too. But you definitely qualified for nationals which is cool and so we'll see if he does nationals this year with me or if he wait if he waits and wants to take a little bit of an off season and grow so we'll just kind of we'll we'll make those decisions a little bit later um but really exciting i it was so hard to keep this from you guys All so right. licking tubware oh yeah Brian never used to be like that. I would, I still lick my tubware, and he don't. He would laugh. You would laugh at me, and now he's in the licking tubware club. The worst batch of oats. It looks like soup. Mm. And that poor job. This is not what I want. Ew! It's so soupy. It's like porridge. I hate the word porridge. I hate the word pour. Pour? Yeah. I mean, I guess I hate the word poor too, but poor it, poor inch. It just sounds like you're a little old man, prickly old man eating your porridge in the morning. Okay, he's making a mess. Um, I'm gonna go because my fucking shoulders are, it hurts holding this camera up for a long time. It's been six minutes. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Um, I probably won't film my workout today just because like, I kind of want to get it in, get it fast, so I can get ready for the night show and everything and come with Brian for that. So I will see you guys later at the night show. I'm excited. Bye. So home, got some of my work done. I feel, oh my God, I feel so good that I got some work done. I was kind of nervous today um, that I wasn't going to like be able to get to my client check-ins in a timely manner. And if you're my client, you know 
Is my hair a mess? If you're my client, you know that I really, really, truly do try to give very quick, prompt responses. Um, it's like, do men wipe down the counters? Do your husbands or boyfriends or what, whoever, do they wipe down the fucking counters in the kitchen? I swear to God, like Brian's like, oh, I cleaned. And then I come in and I'm like, there's food all over the counter. <sighs> anyway, so I was happy that I got all of my client stuff done. I edited a video for Instagram and now I'm going to eat my pre-workout meal, which I'm going to show you guys. It's a very weird pre-workout because I had no idea what today was going to bring. I had no idea how long today was going to go. So my pre-workout meal is very low calorie because I don't know why it just is. And that's okay. So what I'm going to eat pre-workout is three ounces of deli turkey. I, there, oh, oh my God, there's a hair on my screen and it's, and it was on my forehead. So I thought there was a hair on my forehead this whole time. It was really trippy. Sorry about that. I'm rambling. Um, I get the boar's head 46% less sodium turkey, deli turkey, because I like to add my own sodium. And then I have 70 grams of kimchi and I'm going to eat three cheddar rice cakes. And then during my workout, I'm going to have 22 grams of Sour Patch Kids. So that is my pre-workout meal. I'm actually going to add a little bit of salt to this because I like to have salt pre-workout. So I'm going to add salt to this and wait a little while, a little, like wait, like maybe 30, 45 minutes and then get headed to the gym, have a leg workout. I'm not going to film it because we really do have to just kind of go. Brian's already at our apartment gym pumping up. Uh, Paul told him to do like a 30 minute total body, upper body workout. Um, so that's where he is right now. And I'm going to eat this and I will see you guys on our way to finals. After Brian's workout, he's getting a big old Chipotle bowl with white rice and steak. And that's what he's having before his show. And then um, we're pulling for the overall win, baby, for his first show ever. So let's fucking do this. So excited. See you later. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're at the gym right now. You know, Paul had me grab a half hour workout post show. Thought it would help me, my muscles, you know, suck it all in and come in fuller later. You know, today went pretty well, guys. I was super confident up there. I did men's physique novice and men's physique open class B. For open class B, I, I ended up, you know, center stage. So, you know, I know that means that, I don't know what it means actually. I don't like act like I already won my class. I just, I'm not that type of person, so just gotta bring it tonight, bring my best, and we'll see what happens. It'll be pretty cool if I get to run for the overall on my first show. Who knows, I don't like to get ahead of myself. Now I'm just about to dig in on some steak and white rice from Chipotle. Like, while wife, wifey crushes it with the legs, she has to like come here and help spot her on some heavy weight, so I'm gonna do that. While I eat, here's what I'm eating.
76. Again, these are first time competitors. Great job. Great job. All right, our mid. Number 67, Daniel Montoya. In fourth tonight, number 25, Lorenzo Donastor. Third place goes to number 72, Joseph Monasterio. In second tonight, number 75, Serge Victor. And your Mrs. ZP champion. Six that conditioning though. Okay, this time it's 70, 76 will switch. Turn to face the rear. And turn to face the judge. Okay, this time 76 and 74 switch. Turn to face the curtain. And now face the judges. I get so confused over judging. I don't get it. Okay, a little bit of music and a little pose down. Let's go 76! trophy. I don't know where it went. Did he bring it upstairs? I think he like put it. Oh, there it is. As you saw, Brian won his class. Oh my God, this is heavy. I haven't touched it yet. Oh, holy crap. I mean, hopefully I'll have one of these one day. He won his class. 2018 Flex Vibe IFBB MPC Atlantic Cro Atlantic Coast Pro-Am Open Men's Physique Class B. That's a mouthful. Oh my God. How do you feel, babe? I feel awesome. I feel absolutely great. I'm gonna go shower and get some of this 
10 off, hopefully. He joined or entered in this show on Tuesday. It is Saturday. He decided on Tuesday night at nine o'clock at night that he was gonna do this show. He didn't have a peak week. Our coach just had him do the same macros he's been doing because we don't want to mess up his conditioning or have him peak too early or any of that for the Grand Prix, the show that we're doing in four, five weeks. Five so weeks. Paul wanted, to, Paul was like, if you wanna jump in and do it, do it, but I don't wanna manipulate anything because the Grand Prix is really what we wanna, you know, um, bring home another trophy so yeah um amazing that he won his class i don't understand how he didn't win novice like that just whew, don't understand that and then for the overall the worst looking guy won he he did he had a sunken in stomach and no abs i don't get it there was a, a guy that was even bigger than brian and he didn't even win. It was fucking confusing. Oh, but as you, my camera was zoomed in all the way on accident because I wasn't looking through my camera lens. I was looking with my real eyeballs. So I didn't realize it was zoomed in. So if the footage is just like all of Brian, I'm sorry, but he fucking looks great. So I'm actually gonna run upstairs and edit this video because I wanna get this up tomorrow morning because it's, this was a surprise, a big, huge surprise. No one knew he was competing, but me, our coach, and like our parents, that's it. So I wanna get this video up and announce it to the world that Brian competed in his very first show with just a couple days of preparation and fucking won it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go edit this. I have to eat my last meal. I'm actually gonna go walk on the treadmill for like 20, 30 minutes, just like a l very low pace walk. I've been sitting all day. I had a leg workout, but I've been on my butt sitting at this show all day and it's driving me crazy. I burned like no fucking calories, but um, one last thing I got. So I got in the mail a bunch of dead fit hoodies and I'm obsessed. So I got two of these crew necks and then, so this black one, I got a gray one and then I just got like a hoodie that just says dead fit for my birthday. I just, happy birthday to me spent some money on myself and I got these hoodies to sweat my ass off for cardio. And then at the show, there was like a little expo there and this company called Flex Vibes. They're a brand new company, only have like not even 400 followers on Instagram, but these fucking joggers that I got are like unicorn fur fucking magic um, fabric. I, they are amazing. I look like a frumpy, I could not be more comfortable right now, but they are so cute, so fucking cute. And they feel, so, and they have zippers. I'm, I truly am obsessed. So um, they actually asked me if I was interested in being a brand ambassador or like a sponsored athlete, but I told them I would have to like try the clothes first because I don't ever jump on to, with a company before I try their products um, because I need to make sure I like it. And then when I saw that they had only 375 followers on Instagram, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want that. But now that I put the clothes on, I'm like, wow, they're just a new company and uh, people need to know about them. So Flex Vibes. I really wanted, they had a cropped hoodie that was so cute. Brian said he's gonna buy it for me. He's gonna go online and buy it tonight because he actually wants more joggers. He bought a pair too. They actually gave him a pair. They gifted him a pair of joggers because he won, which was so nice. And um, they promoted the show. So I have a shirt from them as well. They gave me for free. But uh, Brian's gonna go online and actually put order some apparel because we love the clothing. And so I'm gonna start um, promoting them. Um, I'm not sponsored. I'm not gonna like agree to anything yet, but I just want you guys to know that because the clothing is like really, the quality is fucking amazing. So I'm gonna run upstairs, edit this video. I gotta eat. I wanna spend some time with Brian. So congratulations. Go to his Instagram, show him some love, please. Tell him congratulations, he did awesome. And uh, he's still competing with me in five weeks. We are five weeks out today from our show and this was just so motivating uh, to really kick ass and it just really also gave me a peace of mind to like not really care about placing because shit happens that blows my fucking mind so who knows I could fucking come in last if I for all I know I don't understand the brains of the judges at all but I'm gonna go see you in the next one guys Bye.